Hi and welcome, Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to talk about the error message that I'm getting. And when you try to turn on the computer, it says something about the CMOS here. So it says CMOS reset 502. Hopefully you can see the error code, right? CMOS checksum is invalid. CMOS will be reset to the default configuration. The error message is CMOS reset, reset 502. And if you're getting that message, that error message on your startup, on your computer, or if your computer turns on like this, right? You know, it's being plugged in. As soon as you pull the charger and the computer shuts off, then more likely that the battery, the internal battery of your computer is completely dead. It's not holding the charge. Okay, so if you're getting that error message I showed you earlier and also if you unplug the charger and a computer just died immediately, then more likely you need a battery replacement. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is the HP laptop. And what I like to do is to get a metal prying tool. We got to expose the screw, which is hidden underneath that rubber here. So go ahead and remove that rubber. So this rubber here, you just pretty much prevent the computer from sliding away it's just a rubber stopper here i'm gonna go all the way in with a little there is another plastic right there that little tape i need to bring the tape out together with the rubber so this little tip here that I'm referring to. So let's put it all together in one piece like that. And if there's anything here at the bottom, There might not be a tape, uh, sorry, there might not be a screw for the bottom part here, but we'll find out. Well, nope, there is, a, there is one screw right here, so you need to remove that tape, that rubber. All right, the next step is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. Mine is a PH1, that is the size of that screwdriver head. Let's go ahead and remove all the screws. There are four screws on the very top. One screw here hidden underneath the bottom rubber. And then there are two more screws at the very bottom. Once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and separate the back cover. All right, so I'll be using a metal prying tool, I'm trying to stick it in between that plastic here. And then once I have enough of space, I'll be using a plastic prying tool just to prevent from any scratch to the plastic if I use the metal and running across the plastic like such it will make a scratch to the to the laptop so get a plastic prying tool and use it that way okay and you're gonna hear a lot of like those little clipper being popped which is normal and once you have removed the entire back cover you then can see the entire um, internal part of your laptop. Now the computer does not have a CMOS battery. Okay, again, I just want to clarify with you one more time. The computer here does not have a CMOS battery. Okay, meaning that the CMOS or the BIOS is feeding off from the main source of this battery here. Okay, so if the the main battery is dead or it's not working correctly 
then you will get it, that CMOS error message. Remove the two screws. Okay. And they actually have four screws. So remove all the four screws. And you can just simply lift the battery straight up. If you're not sure where to find the battery replacement, look it up here. You say HT03XL or maybe the replacement part is going to be listed on the HP number here. All right, so that is the broken battery. And here is my replacement battery here. So let's put the battery here on the side. To install, simply just press it in. Make sure you align them properly and have the two screws go back where it's supposed to be. One at the bottom right. One for the bottom left. And the two screw side by side right next to the connector. Once you have once you are done with that process, all you have to do is just simply have the back cover going back in. I like to align them on the top here. Press it down. Okay, and then just kind of work your way around it by pressing it down. Do not forget to put the screws back together. But before I do that, I like to test out my computer first. I like to see if the computer actually turns on. Hopefully I still have enough battery on the new, new battery. It looks like it's gonna turn on pretty soon. I saw the little screen just went off a little bit. Are you coming up? All right, and just telling me the error message right there, which is normal because it's a brand new uh, battery. We just replaced it and the computer is going to do its reboot itself for a couple of times. And there you go. You can see that the uh, HP logo is starting up and I'm not even plugging my charger. So the new battery I installed to have enough juice uh, to power up the computer. And again, if you want to plug in the uh, charger, you should be able to see that little orange light comes on meaning that the computer is charging up the battery so the battery is taking the charge and it's still booting up to the computer screen remember there was a couple of time we just um, the computer did not shut down properly that is why i'm getting this diagnosing your computer all right i hope this video is helpful to you and if you find this video is helpful please uh, smash the like button for me i really appreciate you for doing that and um and if you're not sure where to buy the replacement battery, uh, what I'll do is I'll list it down in the description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement battery um, of your HP laptop. Okay, again, uh, thanks for watching. Here comes my uh, Windows login screen. Um, you can see that the bottom right corner, I have this little charger showing that the battery is charging. And when I unplug the the charger, it goes on the battery and the computer stays on. So I know that the computer is just fine. All right. Uh, any question, comment down below. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.